this video I'm going to show you three different ways to join stitches in the round. And what I'm talking about when I say that is when you're knitting on circular needles and you're actually knitting in a tube. And this video is sponsored by Knitter's Pride. I'm using their Platina 16 inch circular needle set. And I am, this is my own personal set, I am really happy with it. I use these needles all the time. And I recently asked a couple of friends of mine who are really good knitters, um, what 16 inch circular needle set do they have? And they said, oh, I have blah, blah. And I said, no, that's your regular needle set. And they didn't even really register that a 16 inch needle set is perfect for hats, first of all. There are these little short needles um, and these short cords that end up making this perfect, uh, perfect uh, size you need for knitting hats. You really fly on hats and they're fun to knit. And this is the needle set here in the awesome Knitter's Pride case. There are seven different needle sizes from US size 4 up to size 10 and metric sizes 3.5 up to 6.0. And you get a couple of the cords and the keys and you just attach the cord that you need to the needle size. Again, these are unique from other um, from other needle sets because the needles are a little bit shorter to accommodate the cord, making them perfect for hats. Anyway, I do have um, samples to show you of these three different ways to join stitches in the round, so let's go ahead and take a look. This is um, the example with no example. This is actually the way that I always do things. I just start knitting in the round and I don't do any special technique. And you see here, there's this stair-steppy jog. That's because knitting in the round is essentially um, knitting a spiral. And this bulky yarn really shows that. And I always knit like this and then use the end to repair it. And I'm gonna show you that in, in a minute, but first I'm going to take a look at the actual techniques that I'm here to demonstrate for you. Here is the first technique. You see it looks quite different than the sample I just showed you. All of the stitches on the cast on row are lining up. There's no stair steppy jog. And I'll show you how that works. You see these are the beautiful needles that I'm talking about. They come with the cords and the needles and you just attach those needle tips that I showed you to the cords. And these keys are provided so you have something to hang on to to tighten them up a little bit. And really, it is, I think of it as my hat knitting set. They're so great. So this is the first technique. First thing I want to do anytime I'm joining stitches in the round is to make sure that nothing's twisted. And I'm actually going to throw a stitch off. I cast on one extra stitch so that I could hang on to that stitch marker. So this is what we're going to do. This is the technique. It's going to make some of you panic. We're going to push the stitch off the left needle and it's going to hang there. But don't worry because that's a slip knot stitch. It's really not going anywhere anyway. And then I'm going to slip the stitch from the right hand needle to the left and pick up the stitch that was hanging there on the right hand needle. So essentially what I've done is I've swapped the two stitches. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can tighten up the working yarn to tighten up that stitch because chances are it will get loosened up as you transfer it over. Then take your stitch marker and place it at this time and just start knitting normally. And again, the first stitch got loose, but I can just tug it with the working yarn. And that is the first technique that gives us this nice finish here. I want to show you the second technique. I'm going to keep using this sample so I have to undo what I did. And this second technique actually takes an extra stitch. So cast on everything you need, then cast on one more. Okay, so we're going to have the sacrificial stitch. Then transfer that stitch, whoops, transfer the first stitch from the left needle to the right and bind off. That's the technique. That's how you're joining things. And then of course you want to pull on the tail and the working yarn. Once the technique is finished, you can transfer that stitch over to the left needle, place a marker <laughs> and transfer it back. Every time I've done this technique, I've forgotten to 
add the marker until after the fact. So now it's the technique for me. And then you just knit normally and this join I think actually looks a little bit better. Casting on the extra stitch join. So those are the two techniques but now I'll show you that you know the fact that I really don't ever use a technique and I've demonstrate I always kind of do this repair. I've demonstrated this in lots of videos before but I'm going to go ahead and show it here because it works with this video. I have to weave in this end anyway. So I look at my work and there's the slip knot. I'm going to go under two V's in the first stitch past the slip knot and pull it and then go down into the same hole I came out of. Now this isn't always a surefire, sometimes you have to look at it and make sure it looks right. That actually, this slip knot's kind of sticking out, I think I can do better than that. Okay. So I'm going to go under, closer to the slip knot this time and then back down into where I came out of. That looks great. You see I have a nice finish here, no stair-steppy jog, and I have to weave in the end anyway, so it's kind of uh, six of done, six, does, six of one, half dozen of the other. <laughs> Took me a minute to catch on to what I wanted to say. Anyway, three different ways of joining stitches in the round. Many thanks to Knitter's Pride for sponsoring this video. Good luck.